What's going on, brothers? It's Lime me taking the name. Got a video for you. It's written title. You can't be happy. Here goes. So today is the first day of the lame ducks presidency. And right out the gate, he is keeping his promise to ignore all of you brain dead mammies and effeminate minstrels who voted for him. So whatever happens in these next few years, these next, next few months, you can blame nobody but yourselves. Now, on the video. So, you brothers worth your salt, you brothers who have ICC ears to hear, you've probably noticed this. I know Brother Tito has noticed this. But, do you realize that your happiness is overly demonized in Western civilization? That is, if you enjoy something too much, whether it's your hobbies, whether it's fishing, hunting, whether it's studying martial arts, whether it's video games, if you enjoy it too much, then the natural response from these trollists and these DNA dumpsters is to destroy you or tear your ass down. You see, she could be happy all the live long day. If, even if it means hurting someone else, if that's what makes her happy, then, then society will back her 100%. If she wants to destroy her children or kill her children, society will back her 100%. A great example of this is the Cleon bitch on that college campus who loudly boasted she kills her kids. But you, you ain't allowed to be happy. And I would go so far as to say as these trollops who get into these relationships and these marriages and try to pick fights or tear their man down because he enjoyed himself too much or is happy with his hobbies. I would go so far to say as these trollops were unhappy long before they got into relationships. So in other words, the only time they really get any kind of enjoyment or happiness is when they're making your life miserable. That's unacceptable. And I, for one, won't stand for it. I won't put up with it. I know the bitch made simps will put up with it. The beta males will put up with it. The matriarchal mam dingoes will put up with it until they find themselves in subhuman poverty or possibly even in prison because the woman at their porking decided that she was bored. Yes. There are trollops out there who would break off a marriage or relationship simply because they're bored, which pretty much means that you're not rich. These are some cold hard facts that a lot of blue peelers, a lot of fence sitters don't want to deal with. They don't want to confront these facts. And they also like to remain blind, deaf, and dumb to the fact that when these trollops say that they're unhappy, they're only unhappy because they aren't making your life miserable. That's disgusting. That is not the earmarks of a stable human being. So, you've all heard stories, right? Of trollops who would lambast or try to shit on you because you enjoyed your, your hobbies too much. There have been trollops who say that they don't like men who play video games. There are trollops who say that they don't like men who spend too much time in a the gym. There are trollops out there who don't like men who go to these drone racing leagues 
and are just heavily immersed in their hobbies. Which is complete bullshit. She can have all the hobbies in the world, she can do all the stuff that makes her happy, but you can't have any kind of happiness or any kind of enjoyment whatsoever. And I, for one, have seen this personally when I was in high school and when I was in community college. Some days, like on Thursdays after school at my high school, we would bring consoles to the campus and the young men among us would play video games. We'd enjoy playing Halo, Street Fighter, a few other games. And every time we held those club meetings, those video game club meetings, there would always be some trollop in there trying to get one of their attention. Like the attention of one of these men, one of these young men. And they would get frustrated and they'd leave. The same thing would happen in community college. Every time we held a Street Fighter tournament or a Tekken tournament, these trollops would worm their way in and try to get someone's attention. So, when they don't get your attention, they call you a loser. They call you a virgin, an incel. All you gotta do is play video games. You can't do anything else in your life. Fuck all that. Let me tell you something, brothers. Enjoy your hobbies. If you get enjoyment and happiness out of your hobbies, or whatever, you, whatever it is that you're doing in life besides chicks and tail, more power to you. Do you, man. If these trollops... are angry or frustrated because they can't get your attention or because they're not making your life miserable, then fuck them, to hell with them. That's their problem. If her life revolves around making you unhappy, then she's unstable. That person is a black hole. And they're better off left to their own ruin. It is what it is. Mm hmm. But it's not about what I think. How about you, brothers? What are your thoughts on the subject? I'd love to hear about the conversation. Mm hmm. There's a lot of MGTOW. So I got. If you like the video, if you like the scene, write the commentary. Feel free to subscribe if you're enjoying my channel. You find a tip jar on the upper right side of the screen. That's the G Plus icon. All right, fam. All right, brethren, you know drill, you know routine. Go on with it with SYSBM. As for these trollops, these walking black holes, and these DNA dumpsters who aren't happy unless they're making your life miserable and making you unhappy, give them nothing. This has been a MGTOW PSA. More to come. Sit tight. See you soon.